What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that way you can keep up to date with the latest videos coming out on my channel. But today we're taking a look at a third party figure from a company called Black Box. It is a figure from the new James Bond film that hasn't come out yet, but soon to come out, uh, No Time to Die. Um, I was after a James Bond figure, I saw the promo pics for this guy, and I thought I'll pull the trigger. Um, you can see there is the packaging that it comes in. It's not too big of a box, which means it's not going to have too many accessories. Um, you can see there it's got a picture of James Bond on the front. As well on the side, it's got a picture of him. On both sides, sorry. And on the back, it shows you what you get inside the packaging. And that's basically it. Um, it's actually just a slide off cover. And then you got access to another lid, which you pull pull off, and then you get you got access to the figure and the accessories. So what we'll do now is I will show you guys what James Bond comes with. So here are all the accessories that Bond comes with. Now a real big bummer is he doesn't come with a stand. I feel that every one six scale should it should be compulsory that they come with a stand. But anyway, we'll start off with the machine gun that he comes with. It's not too bad, fairly light. Uh, it does feel a little flimsy in some areas. Um, magazine does pop out. I'll just show you inside the magazine. You can see it's got a couple of bullets there. And then it just pops back in. Now what else moves on the machine gun? This back part does swivel around. And I think that's it. Not too bad. Could have been a little bit better. And he does get this strap that uh, you can put on his body and it attaches to the machine gun. Does feel a little flimsy. What else has he got? The watch, the Amiga Seamaster watch. It's nicely detailed, but it does look like it's going to be a little bit tricky to put on his actual wrist. So I'm going to have fun doing that later. You get his famous PPK. It's not too bad. Again, feels fairly light and flimsy. That can clock that back. Magazine does pop out. You just pop it back in. And... You can see a little bit of detail there. Not too bad. Then you get some interchangeable hands. So some open palm hands. You get a trigger hand. And this one is to hold the bottom of the machine gun like so. And that's basically all the accessories that Bond comes with. So I'm just going to show you some of the detail in the head sculpt and the uh, outfit just before we get into the movement. I mean, from that angle, I can clearly see Daniel Craig. I think front on, yeah. I mean, I still can see him. Just certain angles, it does look a little off. And you get to about there, you can you can see him. Still pretty good. The outfit, um, having a little trouble with mine with the, the way this sort of sits. Wish it was more tucked in. I maybe have to muck around with it a bit. Yeah, this is a bit flimsy, his bow tie. The outfit's not too bad. You can see there, pants are a bit of a bummer. They, they feel like they're a bit short. You can see there, just a little bit short see that one and they got no socks so you can see underneath looks a little little funny there but see it doesn't sit all the way down anyway the feet start off in the feet area get a bit of movement there quite a bit the knees bend to about there but then as you can see it starts to look pretty ugly you can 
go to about there, forward, back, only to about there. You get a bit of thigh movement. You can do the splits. Again, just got to be careful you don't rip his pants. His waist area, do get a bit of movement. Get a bit of an ab crunch there. Going back to about there. Arms do go out to about there before the suit sort of restricts it. Forward. Yeah, it sort of struggles because of the suit and back as well. Elbows bend, not too bad. Arms do move, move around quite nicely. The hands are on a ball joint, oh, so usual uh, wrist peg, so you do get a bit of movement there. His neck moves pretty good, and you can move his head right around. So you get a bit of movement. So there is there on the rotating stand. Now, I did have some dramas trying to put his watch on. Um, what ended up happening was that this kept on coming apart and then just falling off. So I might have to do a bit of a mod, maybe glue it down like that. And that way you can just take his hand off and then put it on. Otherwise, if you try, because the suit keeps bunching up, it sort of was pulling this apart and then it was just falling off all the time. So we'll have to do a bit of a mod on that, bit of a bummer, because I do like the watch, but anyway. I've got him there just in front of us, not in any type of crazy pose. Now, the body on this figure is a little, feels a little cheap. Um, I mean, I didn't pay too much for this figure, so I didn't expect too much, but it does feel a little flimsy. Um, he that, like I said, the the pants don't sit too well on the figure. Um, mine was having a little bit of difficulty standing up because of the way they designed the ankles. Um, yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool. I do like it, but um, it could have been a little bit better. Now, the head sculpt there, um, it's not too bad. I mean, for a third party... I think they've got the likeness to Daniel Craig pretty close. Like I said, from some angles it does look pretty spot on and then other angles you start to lose Daniel Craig there. But overall, for what you pay with this guy, um, yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, the accessories do, I mean, the accessories that come with him do feel a little flimsy as well, a little cheap. Um, bit of a bummer, you don't have a stand. Um, that strap that holds the machine gun does feel a little flimsy, so I am a little hesitant to use it in case it breaks. Um, and yeah, the the watch was a bit of a bummer. I couldn't couldn't get the watch on him. But overall, if you're after a James Bond figure um, for your collection, it's not too bad. Well, that wraps up this review. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, if you're on Facebook, check out Six Scale Club where you can post pics, videos on 1C scales or just discuss 1C scales to others. Well, that's it from me, guys. I'll see you next time on the channel. And as always, take care.